Thank you for tuning in with Enchantress, that is me, the babbler, that is me, on this evolutionary high of an empire that this time is so going back into the line of a line that I was talking about, the divine feminine at this time, with the eight of fire climaxing here. Just getting into that center of that inner powering um, movement, motion, emotion, this alignment with mind, body, heart, and soul. You have the whole entire world around you, surrounding you. This is here, this is pivotal, this is monumental in every kind of way where you have the world around you and it's just like, okay. But here you are in your goddess reign, the world around you and I'm about to climax. <laughs> Everything's fine. It's okay, it's just a wet dog. All right, so I got the world around me and I'm about to climb up. This is the essence of this fiery, passionate card that um, here in this deck, it says, this suit corresponds to the wand suit, to the sense of taste and the creative and passionate sphere. Fire controls creativity, desire, and ambition, and their satisfaction. So it's about the alignment of aligning with your true, true into what is desirable and wanted and desired and going to be manifested for you. It's also about that area of our being which seeks to reverse or transgression. Here, I have the world around me, but I'm about to climb up. You see this feel, this this need to be. So here you have the climax, straining towards a goal movement, meaning Mercury and Sagittarius. The need to communicate openly and freely in a demonstrative way. So this is like the throat chakra of like um, aligning yourself with your truth and then being accepting of that truth, acknowledging you and then also being free to openly express that climax of an experience for you so you can see. Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Alright, so namaste, thank you for tuning in with Enchantress, that's me, the Babylon that's me on this evolutionary high of a climax at this time. What truth are you currently aligning with at this time that is allowing you to climax into your shining ray of a superb quantum align that shifts, changes, transforms worlds in ways that you couldn't even possibly have imagined with your limited, limited way of viewing things and perceiving and knowing that when you trust in the divine alignment of everything at this time currently going on in your life that you would allow yourself to be in that rhythm, that beat, that sensual like acceptance of every part of you that is true. You got the world around you and you are about to climb up. How wonderful does that feel like to be able to just climax in a line in every kind of majestic way that allows you to just be the master creator of your now every day. What can I say? Climax, baby. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in with Enchantress. That is me, the babbler. That is me on this evolutionary high of a spree. That is just uploading into Happy Fourth of July season, although these messages are timeless. Um, thank you. I am just so excited about this growing channel and just, you know, my own freedom to be able to express myself in every kind of way as I just, like, um, grab the ball to life and pick up my own reins and just allow myself to freely express the blonde in me to be able to just poetically speak free. Know what I mean? Jelly Bean, queen of my own land, as we take our own stands into this 
manifestation of our own realities that we create for ourselves. Thank you for tuning in with the Enchantress. That is me, the Bella. That is me on this evolutionary high. I'm going to rise at the same. Grateful as I.